All right, here we are back for hole number three here. Let me switch clubs. This is the first time I'm really going to need my shot aid here. So we're going to play it very similarly to what you saw me do uh, on the last playthrough. But I'm going to try to, uh, you know, make a, make a, uh, a nice revision here to hopefully give myself uh, a much better outcome than last time since I'm uh, when I rotated the screen to the you know that's the way that I'm going to recommend that you guys rotate the screen is the other way you can see that when you do it this way especially once you start aiming up the cliff it gets a little bit tougher uh, to get your aim down now you can see with what my opponent's doing landing it a little bit shorter uh, it is, you know, much safer to drive it this way, but it's also going to decrease the likelihood that you can get the hole in one. So the the less backspin you use, the the harder it is to get it back on plane, to actually get it right enough and slow enough to not come down, you know, way over here towards the left. So what you'll usually see is, you know, three or four yards out here to the right, towards the left hand side here. And, uh, you know, that'll be pretty common result. Now, what I'm going to try to do here is, you know, very similarly to what you saw me doing, which is landing much more aggressively towards the long side here uh, with some good backspin as well. So you can see with where I'm setting up. And what I'm going to do is just be a little bit more careful with my needle positioning here this time around. So you can see with how I kind of have it pointed. And I'm just going to make sure that my motions are straight up into the air here. Five. All right, about there. One per ring. A lot more careful with my ring play. And it looks much better. And as I mentioned, you know, all this extra spin and the extra back spin, uh, it really decreases the likelihood. If you can get it back on plane towards the hole, um, it's going to just make it much more makeable for you. And you can see that my ring adjustment there was much more spot on. I think with my last one, you, you can see how quickly, you know, things can escalate. You can see with my problem of my, you know, something for you to pay attention to is the way that you're pulling up. You need, it, it just needs to be so, so spot on. Um, when you're going about uh, playing your round. So, you know, this is something that you always need to be thinking about, being very careful and methodical with the way that you're pulling on the screen because you could see that my last one was off by like four rings. Like it was significantly long. So, uh, you know, you just have to be very, very careful with the way that you go about doing that. Um and you could see that I almost, you know, still could have pulled just a little bit more towards the, you know, tee box a little bit. So you'll probably see me rotate a little bit more from this point forward and then just always, you know, staying pretty uniform with the way that I'm going about uh, my ring adjustment. So good luck with that hole, guys, and I'll catch you guys on the next one.